Tabletop role playing game store news of the week. How y'all doing? It's nine o'clock in the morning. It's the 10th day of October 2024. It is cold and gloomy here at Site B, but nowhere as near cold and gloomy as it is over on the other side of the state in Florida. Shout out and prayers for all our family and friends who are in Florida and are dealing in the aftermath of Mr. Milton. I've got a cousin and an aunt out there, and of course, our good friend Harmony Ginger is out there, so let's hope they're all okay. That said, it's time to take a look at all the brand new products on the shelves of your friendly local game store, starting with Shadow Dark Goblin Punk with Sticks by yours truly, available at Postmortem Games. It is my inevitable goblin-centric Shadow Duck Dark Grim, dark, punky, punk, punk, edgy lord making fun of the whole dark, grim, dark role playing shadow dark thing with goblins. So, you hear me all the time talk about it's a game with goblins with sticks. Well, here is my game about goblins with sticks. So, check it out. Link down below if you want to support a brand new game. It's me, this one. Yeah, support me. All right. Now, let's see what's on the shelves of our friendly local game store this week if we're lucky enough to have one. I don't know what's going on with my voice, guys. So, Bear with the uh, I smoke 12 packs a day voice. I don't smoke 12 packs a day. I don't smoke at all, but apparently I'm losing my voice. Wee! Oh, that's a good thing. We hate hearing you talk. <laughs> I know that. I know that. All right. Well, this one is near and dear to my heart, and I am covering it every Friday. It is The Electric State by Free League Publishing for $52 based upon the book the electric state by simon stenelgag this is the uh alternate 1997 america surviving a weird war of battle drones and a countryside discarded track um lonely ghost drones and computer addicted and for some reason you play characters that are just wandering across this state from one to end of america to the other and dealing with the beautiful loneliness that is the electric state and all Simon's work. Uh, I've done a whole 20 minute video about the emotional uh, connection for myself and this book. That said, I absolutely love it. I don't know if it works as a game, maybe as a video game, but I mean, how do you keep people interested? in a campaign that's basically just, okay, you're leaving Arizona and you're heading for Iowa. Stuff happens along the way. Now, the answer to my own question, because I'm watching a lot of zombie TV this time of year, because it's Halloween, I would take, um, I would combine Z Nation, Walking Dead, with travel vlogs by like Huel Hauser and Adam the Woo and people who just crisscross America and look at these old abandoned towns and stuff like that. I would combine them together. I would replace the zombies with the threats in the book. But that is how I would tell a story. I would just take the plot of, you know, Z Nation or whatever and replace zombies with whatever. But basically it's the same thing. You're trying to get from one end to the other and things happen along the way. From Mythworks, we have The Last Caravan for uh, Swords in the Dark, Forge in the Dark. Um, this is forty dollars. You are extra. You're traveling across a mysterious midwinter road trip in the wake of an alien invention. You're part of a caravan of people who are going from one end to another. You're dealing with xenoflora, abandoned towers, crashed spaceships, otherworldly technology, plus just a world that has been changed and is slowly falling apart. So the electric state, but with aliens. But again, it's just an idea of the role-playing game about travel and telling stories about traveling across this nation, this planet, um, and just seeing the world through those eyes. And I mean, it's hard to explain. At least this one offers aliens. Uh, the Academy Christmas Chrysalis from Pluripotent Press 
This is for a game system called Trophy Gold. $16 is a soft cover rule book. You are treasure hunters who have found your way into a magical academy that seals itself off with a whole bunch of uh, stuff in there. And you've got to go explore it and deal with it while coming trying to take stuff from it and get out back out into the real world so hogwarts 100 years from now rediscovered what mysteries lie within hogwarts and how could i a normal d dude or, you know treasure hunter whatever deal with the mind-boggling reality warping thing that is magic inside hogwarts or magical school i'm using hogwarts because most of us know what that is but the, the, the same idea magical school sneaking in abandoned but is it 16 bucks i mean good luck to that one that wins just for price gi joe a real american hero they've got some stuff from renegade press for their various games for gi joe the role-playing game we've got intercontinental adventure Fractions in Action. For Werewolf, we've got Shattered Nation Source Book. And for Vampire the Masquerade, we've got the Gihana, Gihana Where War Source Book. These are $45 each. Uh, the the G.I. Joe Source Book is a source book for the G.I. Joe role playing game covering the ninjas, the mercenary gangs, the October cards, the dreadnoughts, all the other things that are G.I. Joe adjacent. But that have shown up in the the show or the cartoon, but are not, uh, you know, GI Joe center, including GI Joe Canada. So if you and Cuba. So if you've ever been interested in the world of GI Joe outside of the Joe Cobra stuff, like you know uh, the storm storm clouds and snake eyes is um, ninja clan stuff like that. Here you go. The Shattered Nation show spoke details the ruins of the Garu Nation. Defeated as the apocalypse rages, uh, you now have to sort of rebuild that nation as a werewolf and explore the world after the werewolf apocalypse. And it's new factions, new stuff, new rules, new ideas for werewolf. Considered by many the best of all the games that White Wolf created. The Gahana War Sourcebook provides PTs. With details on the secret societies and the forbidden sins of the Diabilari. Diabilari. If you're a vampire, the masquerade person, you know what that is. And the other products about the world and the secret war of the vampires fighting amongst themselves, as well as the secret war between the vampires and the real world and the werewolves and the mummies and just all these other things. So just source amongst source amongst source for vampire, the masquerade for 45 bucks. From Monty Cook Games, we have Adventures in the Cipher System and the Cipher System Starter Set. But if you're interested in finding out about the mysterious but heavily considered pretty decent, I know they made a good superhero system. I know the Cipher System superhero game is supposed to be excellent. The other Cipher System stuff ranges from, well, it's really, really good to uh, it exists. So we've got a adventure pack. So it's set in a whole bunch of different worlds. Of the cipher, like the strange Numenera stuff like that, and then just a hodgepodge of things that you can do in the each world. Here's an adventure for fantasy cipher. Here's an adventure for old west cipher. Here's an adventure. I don't know, just cipher system stuff. And the cipher system starter set for thirty bucks contains everything you would need to learn how to play the cipher system. So if you're curious in finding out what this cipher system is, this would be ways to do it. I did get a chance to play one game of a Cypher System dungeon fantasy game. Um, I wasn't that impressed, but who knows? I, I mean, I've heard good things about it. So the only thing I'd recommend today, besides G.I. Joe, because it's G.I. Joe, is maybe this, because it's only $16. This and this sound the same. Um, the art book is amazing. The story of the art book is really cool because, you know, I am a child of the eighties and the nineties and I grew up on Hulhauser. It really sings to me, but it is a very niche product. And I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I, I want it to be successful because I think it's cool and I love all Simon's stuff, but, uh, 
I mean, I love it. And I think like, it'd be difficult to run this. They have to find two or three people who'd want to, you know, who think the same thoughts and have the ability, that imagination and want to say, hey, let's take Walking Dead, Z Nation, and just remove the zombies and replace it with insane robots and whatever, and then just explore that world running through it as if we were running through episodes of The Walking Dead. It could work. I don't know. It could work. It's a big mystery for me. Is If anybody is running the electric state, please let me know how it's going. Anyways, that's all the stuff that's available on the shelves of your friendly local game store this week. But as always, don't take my word for it. If any of the titles I mentioned are something you're interested in, or if you want to know they have the uh, 2024 player soundbook in stock, call ahead and ask. And if they do have it in stock, ask them they can put it on hold for you. And if they don't have it in stock, ask them to special order it. Please ask them to special order it. Don't go, well, then fuck you. I'm going to order it on Amazon. No, we want to keep our friendly local game stores open as much as we can. Guys, I say this every week, and I'm going to keep saying it for as long as I can. If you are lucky enough to have a game shop, not a Magic the Gathering shop, but an actual board game, role-playing game shop, support them even if it means going in once a month and buying one loose dice or something or one figure or a snack even just just do anything you can to help keep them open links down below for all the ones i think are worth your time of course you can always check these out on uh en world or other news sites if you appreciate this content let me know have a great day i will talk to you all later